All right, guys, we are back with another episode of the Anycubic Tryron not working. I've been talking to their customer service line through email, and now they have told me I need to upgrade it to the latest firmware, which is, I believe, the 1.3.5 which they emailed to me so i am going to attempt to update the firmware to see if this machine is going to start working again so what you need to do is connect the data cable to your trusty computer this is an old laptop but it should work it doesn't matter how old the laptop is, as long as you can work it um so the software is you they'll send you the software in this case they send it to me so it's the Tryron 1.3.5, as you can see, and it's the hex, H-E-X dot H-E-X, is, this is the updated firmware. So we, I'm going to walk you through it on how to install this firmware. Hopefully it works to even install it. So let's go through this together real quick. Um, what you're going to do, you're going to download your Cura slicer. Uh, this is the 5.0 version, so I just downloaded it. Just installed it, um, added the Anycubic Chiron as the printer. And what you need to do is click on this and go to Manage Printers. And once you go to Manage Printers, you're going to go to Update Firmware, right? So Update Firmware. Firmware is the piece of software, blah, 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 blah. So and now we need to go turn the machine on see if the computer is going to recognize this machine let's see if this is going to work so the computer just picked up the machine Let's see if it's going to take a minute for this to, to work. Maybe I need to... Okay, device is ready. All right. So let's actually get out of this and go back into it. See if we can... Nope. That didn't work. Let's see. Interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. We need to go into a monitor part I forgot about that we're gonna do this then we're gonna go into manage printer from what I was reading but again why isn't this working machine setting okay it's not what I need. I need to be able to go into update firmware. Here we go. This is uh, this is not good. So it's not even picking up the. Let's see if it works in preview. Which there shouldn't be anything in there. All right. All right. Let me figure this out real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. So I don't know what happened or what's going on. Uh, nothing happened here. I unplugged the USB. And I plugged it back in. Even if you go into prepare. So nothing happened here. But. I'm going to show you guys something. Which is very weird. So nothing's here right. Like you see it's all grayed out. I can't choose anything. But then again. I come here. It says version 1.3.5. Which is the latest version. Uh. Previously, that was not the case. It was something else. So, I don't know what happened. But, nevertheless, let's see if this thing would even go home. 
at this point. Okay. And I'm going to try to do a print to see if this thing is going to print. So it is going home. I'm going to try to heat the bed and the thing next because let's see if that's going to work. All right, that's working. Print. I am going to... Let's see. Let's see what I want to. Maybe it's not on this one. Let me get my other SD card. This is so weird, guys. I have no idea what happened. I didn't do anything. I just plugged it into the computer. I don't know if it auto updated or what, but very weird all right um actually, you know what, I'm gonna I have something here I want to see if it'll print Oh, there it goes. Just died. Just died. Again. So, software was not an issue. See? It's just dead. Everything just paused. Everything just went down to zero. So, software is not the issue. Even though they said software is the issue, here we go. See? Um... Preheat, nothing's working. You push that, nothing happens. I'll probably just go back to zero again. Yep. Same issue that I've had in the past week or so. So, uh, any cubic, if you've seen this, uh, this machine is a month old. So, it should not be doing this. I don't know what the problem is. I need this fixed. Or if you're gonna send me a different one, whatever you guys want to do, figure it out. I can't figure out what the what the problem is. We just, I just did the software upgrade. You guys saw it. Here, yeah, I could probably just probably show it to you guys again, just to be on the safe side. About version 1.3.5, which is the same version you guys sent me, but I believe it had the same version before. But anyways, um, I leave it up. I leave it here so. Let me know what the problem is.